and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some gruel dinosaurs in best of one. That's right, we got some best of one action here for those uh, for those of you that are fans of best of one. Uh, we are going to be smashing with some dinosaurs. This looks pretty exciting. Um, I'm particularly excited to play 4X Charging Monstrosaur, of course, going along with the 4X Regisaur Alpha. We're just going to be attacking with these things. This is just a really underrated card, in my opinion. 5-5 five, five, Trample Haste is no joke. <laughs> hey, okay. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, like, we're we're uh, ramping here, you know, like, we got our, our mana creatures and everything. Looks like we're going with the full four Ranging Raptors also that are a really good follow-up to a Marauding Raptor um, where we can go get a land, put it into play, and then we can uh, go straight into those bad boys there. Um, we got the Savage Stomps and the Domries, also other ways to fight to be able to trigger uh, Ranging Raptors, Ripjaw Raptor as well. Um, yeah, this looks like a, a pretty nice best of one list. You know, like we're just just all about curving out. And so that's what that's what uh, we want to be doing. Um, so that's what that's what we got going on here. So we got Gruel Dinosaurs. Let's let's play a league. All right. So this is a donation deck. So whoa, that was that was quick. All right. So with our donation decks, we like to go play a league. So let's see. Where's regular standard constructed event? There we go. All right, so we're going to play with best of one. We play until we win seven or lose three, whichever happens first. Hopefully we can get that seven win dream here. All right, here we go. Rule Dinos. Alright, good looking hand. Turn two Bronte, turn three Ripjaw, turn four Alpha. For the Alpha Strike. That's why this is called Alpha, right? It's alpha Strike Dino. Hey, what's up, Radical Guru? Alpha Strike Dino. See if this gets Noxious Grasped. No. Revitalize is a pretty good card. It's going to slow me down. So my dinos. A, a big weakness to dinos, though, is. Um, Kaya's Wrath. And so if our opponent is playing a bunch of Kaya's Wrath, that's where we're going to struggle. I wanted to... So I played the Ripjaw Raptor main phase for a reason. If I just go to attackers, and then I attack with Brontodon, but I don't attack with Land War Elf, what that signals to my opponent is that I really need to... is that my plan is to use the Land War Elf post-combat, and honestly, I've, I've seen people do that and just gone and mortified the Land War Elf to slow them down and just say, okay, I can take three from this Brontodon, no big deal. And so I did not want that to happen. And so I went with the uh, Ripjaw first combat. Sorry, Flame, I just have, I have the music this this loud just kind of all the time um for for if there's people that uh don't want the music as much and plus if i if i actually do figure if i actually would turn it up i don't know if i could turn it back down i'd have to figure out how to turn it up Okay, I, th yeah, we just go for it, yeah, we'll, let's just go. I don't want to extend too much into a Wrath, but they have s certainly not been playing like they have a Wrath. Okay, 
wonder why they don't get rid of Regisaur Alpha. Sorry, Flame. Hmm. That's why. Day for chaos. And the only authority that I recognize is chaos. So yeah. Obviously, wish I would have just saved the Riptar Raptor. Jeez. Well, this. This is a huge problem. They got a pretty good anti dinosaur deck over there. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. Yeah, we are going to need some insane top decks. Yeah, they do look like Esper Mill. They've drawn very, very good removal with, you know, Dispark, Contempt, Mortify. There we go. That's a good top deck. Got that 8-8 eight, eight out of here. They're down just to one card. But I got nothing. Yeah, they are the Esper Mill deck. <laughs> it serves us. So, yeah, Kendis, you were talking about like having Esper Mill be, our, be the donation deck here. And, and instead of us having Esper Mill, and instead of us playing Esper Mill, we're playing against <laughs> Esper Mill. No. Yeah, it is. It is the anti-R deck. I mean, that's what our that's what the dinosaurs like. I say that's what they struggle against. They're just sweepers and efficient removal spells and good card advantage. It's just the exact exactly what our opponent's deck is. We need them to have like just like a slow hand with like acuities and um, things like that, and not be able to have the the good sweepers and stuff. This should be over though. But we'll see. You never know. Like, we could just rip, like, charging Monster Sword, charging Monster Sword, charging Monster Sword, and just, like, you know, get, like, five haste damage in, five haste damage, five haste damage, and so on. Like, so you never know. Okay, I guess that card, I guess Monster, Monster Sword is not as good against a spark. Yeah, looks like we've lost this one. Opponent played it really well. GG's. They're in the can't possibly lose anymore 
situation. So like we could just concede like the game's over. Let them do letting them do their thing though. But yeah, we have no outs anymore. Oh, a third chapter of Mirari's conjecture. I'm actually surprised. I was actually surprised they used that. Ooh. Okay, maybe we do have outs. I was honestly surprised that they used the Enter the God Eternals there. I thought they were going to wait a, a turn and get the double. Enter the God Eternals. Oh, I guess I already have two monster swords gone anyway. And my one Galta is gone. Now three monster swords are gone. All my Registor Alphas are gone. I don't have win conditions left. Okay. I do like that Esper mill deck a lot, especially in best of one. Just blank removal spells and stuff. That's a good one. Ooh, this is also a really good one. If we can have Ripjaw on turn three. And the only dino deck I played verse today gave me a free Galta. So I got to copy it twice. I'm not even sure what that means, but that sounds... That sounds crazy. How'd they give you a Galta? Oh, okay, you were playing you were playing Simic Yoink. I gotcha. So yeah, you, you steal their Galta, then you what, quasi duplicate it. Or something. I guess you'd have to go like Spark Double, because Galta's legendary. Yeah, spark double. So what do they got over there with Swamp Forest? Swamp Forest Forest. Wait. District Guide. That's a cool card right there. Spark Double, Regisaur, Amass Lords. You can get flying dinos. Like how do you? How do the dinos start flying? Oh, cause is Spark Double a zombie or something? How does that work? Do I want to trade here? No, we're just going to attack for a lot and get these Ripjaws haste next turn. Oh, Rotting Regisaur. Oh, okay, not Regisaur Alpha. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Rotting Regisaur, because that's a zombie. So, gotcha.
All right, they got swamp and three forests. Not, not an ideal mana base for removal spells. You know, like contempt is double black. A lot of stuff's double black. But they went and grabbed a third forest with district guide over a second swamp. <laughs> yeah, we need we need main deck guy's blessing for that last matchup. Statue. Puts it in tapped. Let's see if we hit the land. We draw land, we'll play Ripjaw. If not, we'll play Ranging. We did not, we'll play Ranging. See, they they spent three mana on District Guide just to go put a land in, into their hand. We spent two mana on Ranging Raptors to go put a land into play. Just more efficient. Okay. Let there's the aerialist. That's a cool card. I think my opponent is just kind of playing cards they own. Kind of thing. But we'll take the victory. And we're one and one. One and one and best of one. One's all around. One's all around. This is a really good looking hand. We could have, if we if we get a land by turn three, we have turn one Marauder, or sorry, turn two Marauder, turn three Marauder, Ripjaw, draw two. Huh. It won't let you sub, Dragon? You try you try going through the link and everything there. Yeah, try try the link. Demir stuff. So it looks like they're a reanimate deck. Yeah, all right, so which is more, can I ask, which is more important for a deck? How often do I win with a deck or how rewarding each win is with a deck? So how often I win with a deck or how rewarding each win is with the deck. I guess that's really a, a question that there's not really a right answer to that question. That's something that's more of a 
of um, an intrinsic uh, question that like what what you value more kind of thing um, what you know so there's not there's not really a right answer there some some people want to play some people don't care how tedious the deck is they play or how much they don't they don't like it or anything but all they care about are, are wins getting as many wins as possible and they'll play the the same deck that they think is on the, the best chance for wins um, you know over and over and uh, just just go with that other people myself included care more about how fun a deck is to play and how much enjoy uh, enjoy playing it So it should just be lethal. Yeah, it's just lethal. So yeah, caster, that's kind of a question that that you can kind of basically you can look at, look into yourself and and uh, answer it yourself and um, go with whichever one you know whichever one you value more, kind of thing. Um, but there's no wrong answer, so don't don't feel bad. You shouldn't feel bad either way. You know, if you if winning if uh if you care more about winning or if you care more about playing a deck that that's something that you find enjoyable but you don't win as much, you shouldn't feel bad either way. You do you. Hey Leonay. Yeah, our best of one deck has a sideboard uh it doesn't it doesn't do anything for our, for our deck. I think it's just just our deck list has a sideboard, you know, so it can be uh, transferable to best of three at at some times also. Um, would kind of be what I what I would think there. Grixis. Grixis amass. So a mat amassed X. You know, two of the best amass cards are widespread brutality and enter the god eternals both of which deal damage so if their removal is dealing damage that's a good sign for ranging raptors and ripjaw raptor Esper best of one list. Um, I can send you the list, the list that we just played against a little bit ago. Our one loss um, was Esper Mill. This deck right here. It may need like one or two changes for, for best of one, but maybe not. Changes would just be in including taking out like a, a top end card or two for a cheaper removal spell or two. So 
If I had Bronze on, I'd probably destroy Dreadhorde Invasion. I don't know if that's just better than playing Ripjaw, though. I'm just going to play the Ripjaw, see what happens here. There you go. Thanks, Candice. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do this next turn. Yeah, Registrar Alpha is definitely an option for, like, the Haste Galta, like, as you're saying there. But we do have to be a little... With that line, we have to be a little worried about Dreadhorde Invasion. I think. Because, like, if I go... Like, if they just have another, like, Gleaming Overseer, something to pump up this power, then they, then they have Lifelink. Also, that can be a problem. Like, if they have... Like, they didn't take... Re like, they took the 4-5 over the 4-4, four, four, the 3-4. I really feel like they have, like, Enter the God Eternals. But that's... That's pretty rough. Enter the God Eternals is really rough here. I'm just going to take out that Dreadhorde Invasion. I don't want them to get the, the lifelink. We're one mana short from playing Register Alpha and Galta next turn, unfortunately. Just, you know, slamming them both down. Alright, so I called to enter the God Eternals. So we called that. We didn't let them get Registrar Alpha. Didn't let them have lifelink here. It's just my safer play to have two blockers because this thing has menace because of the overseer. I would prefer to block with these two. Keep Registrar Alpha, then it play both of these with haste. I guess that could be lethal if they have two lands, but they just kept the card on top with Ascanta. Make the multiverse in my Tick up. image. I am Death's master. Yeah, they got me. Maybe instead of playing the Ripjaw Raptor. That turn four, if I would have blown up. If I would have blown up Dreadhorde Invasion that turn four. They would have got one less counter on their creatures. Then we would have been able to completely trade there. But we're still staring down. Still staring down a Nicol Bolas. Hmm. All right, Dinos. 
Here we go. Time to go on a winning streak. We gotta start with this one. Let's win the die roll. No. Lose the die roll again. Hands are slow. Hey, what's up, Balder? Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub there. Darn, we saw Land War Elf and two Drovers. We needed. We need the Red Dino. The two drop. We need Marauding Raptor. Uh, gross. No, seven wins and best of one never gave you 2,000 gold. I think it gave you like a like a thousand maybe, or I don't know. It's it's never 2,000. Never it was never 500 entry and you could win 2,000 gold. Never quadrupled your entry fee. That's a curve. Well, they had their two drops to go along with. And their two drops to go along with their big stuff. Good hand. What does it give you now? It gives you a thousand gold right now. I think that's kind of how, how it always was, but I think you got better card rewards before. I think they, they did nerf the card rewards. Hey, Northern Plague. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub there. Oh, that's actually sub number 14 on the day. I'm actually one behind. There. All right, so with the, the Dino deck here, I do think that what I would recommend here is I, I do think what you need, I think you just should be playing four Marauding Raptors because this is a, an acceleration card that you can find with Commune with the Dinosaurs. We saw there how we got like the two drovers and the land war elf that we saw off commune and put them all down to the bottom. But I think having having an acceleration card is really, really important because in best of one, just uh, if you don't have an acceleration card, you're only just playing something cheap at three and then and then um, or you're playing something at three and then, you know, four or five. And that's kind of too long to wait. So I would definitely want to play the fourth one of these and. Um, uh, take out a ranging raptors for that. Ranging raptors is is pretty slow overall. Um, besides that, instead of drover, I do think that the other red two drop um, was it huntmaster. I do like huntmaster more than um, drover. I do like Huntmaster more than Drover. The only thing that really Drover is ramping you into is Domri. That's not a dinosaur. I mean, because, you know, Savage Domp just costs the one mana. So, like, all these things are dinosaurs. And so, you know, making them cost one less um, can actually be better than just adding a mana if um, if uh, you play multiple dinosaurs in a turn. 
and uh, then also, you know, you get to give them haste. So that's that's what this deck's all trying to do. I know the monster swords already have haste, but but yeah, I'd want I'd want some Otebicon masters. So maybe just a couple of those instead of Drover. I wouldn't really mind playing a third hunt master and just like two ranging raptors also though. Honestly. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't mind like three and two there. Because it's it's really important that you draw that you have one of these one or two mana cards. Um the best of one games, if you don't have one of these one or two mana cards, it's gonna be pretty tough to to win by just, you know, playing like a ranging raptors or Brontodon on turn three and then Ripjaw, then Reggie. Usually the other best of one decks can handle that. Um So there we go. So that's uh That's what I have here for the best of one. That's like kind of or that's what I have for some advice here for this deck. But that's some gruel dinosaurs. Didn't get to really smash with Charging Monstrosaur. A little sad there. But yeah, especially, you know, we got eight five drops. We got to accelerate into those five drops. And I think, I think Ranging Raptors was a little slow. I want, I want some more of these, uh, more two mana cards to accelerate into them. And I, I want to be playing my Ripjaw Raptors on turn three. And then these things on turn four. That's what I want to be doing. Of course, Marauder you know, does kill these little creatures. But I, I don't think that that's that big of a down uh, downside, honestly. I mean, you want to play the, the small creatures before Marauder. But, you know, like, if you if you play Huntmaster on turn two, on turn three, you can still play Marauding Raptor and then Ripjaw Raptor. You know, like, you can you could still do that on turn three because this, this would make the Marauding cost one less and it would make the Ripjaw cost one less. And then you could swing in with, with either one, like the Marauding or the Ripjaw. You could attack with them also because of the haste. So that's that's like just pretty awesome. you know. So if you have three lands, Huntmaster, Marauding Raptor, Ripjaw, you can have a, a pretty awesome turn three there. So I'd recommend that. All right. Um, but besides that, uh, that's it here for Gruel Dinosaurs. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, and feel free to leave some comments. I always like having the comments over there on the channel. But thank you so much for watching some Best of One with Gruel Dinosaurs, and I'll see you for the next video.